Hi guys, this video will be a presentation about understanding pool ratios for trading card set collections. As an example, I'll be using FIFA 365 Adrenaline XL Collection by Panini, which is currently available in many European countries. First of all, I will assume that you know what is a pool ratio. I will also assume that you know the ratios provided by the publishers are averages. During this video, I will be using a lot of the word average, to always remind it's not some fixed sequence. Ok, let's get started. Here you see the 5th 365 subset list in the UK version. There are 20 subsets, excluding base set. Each category has a number of different cards, which will also be important for this. Looking at the table, we quickly realized which category is more difficult to get cards, the top masters. In average, for every 40 packs, you get one of the three top masters, Messi, Ronaldo or Neuer. For people who like to collect cards from one of these three players, it can be hard to get it by opening packs. Of course, it may be better and cheaper to buy from someone else. But this is not about single cards, where you focus in one particular player to find his autograph or memorabilia piece. No. This is about collecting and finishing a complete set. So, more important than checking which card is more rare individually, it's better to see the whole picture, as many used to say. Back to FIFA 365. We know that we need 378 cards to complete the set. If every single card had the same ratio, you would need only 42 packs, assuming you had the tremendous luck of getting all different or swapping one per one. Unfortunately, that is not possible, as there are special cards which are more harder to get. So the question is, how many do you think you need to get at least what's necessary to swap in every subset? First, let's assume you swap by category, which means you swap top master for top master, icon for icon, etc, etc, etc. You get the point, right? Assumption made, we're now going to check some columns and get an estimate of how much we will need to get. Starting with an easy category, Team Logos. Each comes out 1 per 4 packs in average, but you know there are 24 different. So to get 24 Team Logos, you need to multiply 4 with 24, which gives 96. Basically, this means you need 96 packs in average to get all Team Logos, assuming again you're swapping 1 per 1 in the same category. Let's go to what matters most the tough to get subsets. As we saw before, top masters are the cards most difficult to get individually. But are they also the most difficult to get as a whole? Using again the quantity times ratio, we know that 120 packs are needed in average, because 3 times 40 equals 120. However, there are some other subsets with difficult cards to pull. Icons and attacking trios are not needed to check because ratio is obviously lower than top masters, and they have the same number of different cards, 3. But international double trouble and eventiveness have 9 each, so it's definitely worth to check it out. Starting with international double trouble, we have 9 with 24, which gives 216 packs. So you see, to complete this category, we will need in average to get more than 200 packs, almost 2 times more than top masters. But there's also inventiveness cards, 9 with 25, which gives 225 packs. So basically, these two are definitely the subsets more difficult to complete. We can check others too, but we quickly realize these two from before are the most difficult subsets to complete, because either the ratio is still high, but quantity is the same or less, like experts or game changers, or quantity is high, but ratio is low like fans' favorites or ones to watch. Now for the fun part. How many subsets are globally more difficult to complete than top masters? Do the math and you'll realize how easy top masters are among all those harder categories. As you saw, I did these calculations always assuming you either pull always different special cards or swapping one per one in every category. Of course, if you manage to swap an inventiveness for you while giving away even a top master, 
then you're reducing the packs needed to complete the event even a subset, and rising the needed packs for top masters if you still haven't completed it. It might also happen you're unlucky with packs, and got much less off those cards than you should, which will make you need to buy more. I also assume that every card in each category has the same pull ratio, meaning a top master Ronaldo has the same pull ratio as a top master Messi. I'm referring this because I know there are certain subsets where cards don't have the same ratio. Well, maybe one day I will talk about it with more detail. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped some of you. So long and until the next video.